In this lesson, you will learn how to use the Change Pattern tool. With the Change Pattern tool, you can change the appearance of existing hatching or patterning elements. For instance, you can apply the active color, line style, and or line weight to a pattern. Apply the active pattern parameters such as spacing, angle, and scale to name a few. Redefine a pattern's intersection point. Reflood the pattern area and apply or remove the annotation scale to a pattern. You can find the Change Pattern tool on the Annotate tab in the Patterns ribbon group. Let's continue in AnnotatingDesigns.dgn in the Hatch and Pattern model. All of the hatching and patterns you created in the previous exercise are associated to the elements that define their boundary because you enabled the associative boundary tool settings. This means if one of these elements are modified, the patterning is automatically updated. Let's confirm this by modifying a few elements that define a pattern area. Next, let's change the color, the weight, the spacing, and the angle of the hatching in the first circle. On the Home tab in the Attributes group, set the active color and weight to 4. On the Annotate tab in the Patterns ribbon group, select Hatch Area and in the Tool Settings, set the spacing to 4 and the angle to 90. Select the Change Pattern tool. In the tool settings, enable the Attributes and Pattern Parameters options. Select the hatching in the circle. The hatching updates to match the new settings. In this next exercise, we'll change the scale of patterning from 1 to 2. Select Pattern Area and set the scale to 2. Select Change Pattern and disable the Attributes option. Ensure that the only option, Pattern Parameters, is enabled. Select the patterning, the pattern cells are scaled while the color of the patterning stays the same. An important note, you cannot replace the pattern cell with another cell using the Change Pattern tool. Let's move the pattern a bit so that in the lower left corner it will start with a complete pattern cell. Select Change Pattern and ensure that only the option Intersection Point is enabled. Select the pattern. Following the prompt, define a new pattern intersection point by selecting the intersection snap mode and snapping to the intersection of the two red lines in the lower right corner. A complete cell is now displayed in the lower right corner. Finally, let's add an additional element over a previously patterned area and reflood the patterning. Select Place Block and place a small block within the patterned area in the upper right hand figure. Select Pattern Area and in the expanded settings enable the Locate Interior Shapes option. Select Change Pattern and make sure the only option, Reflood, is enabled. Select the patterning by clicking in the area where the existing pattern appears. 
The patterned area is regenerated to wrap around the new block. Close AnnotatingDesigns.dgn. In this lesson, you learned how to use the Change Pattern tool. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.